For those of you who came here for foot pics, unfortunately, this isn't the video for that, but this video is for unboxing these Nike Adapt Auto Air Max shoes. Let's get started. So ever since I was little, I've always wanted those Skechers. Light up, light up, Skechers. And ever since then, because I never managed to get my hand on a pair, I've been trying to find the perfect comparison for those, but in a more mature version per se. So I think I found it. Let's get these out of the way. Nike launched a version of these in 2011 that were a direct replica of the Back to the Future self-lacing shoes. After those kind of took off, Nike decided to implement the same kind of automatic lacing mechanisms into shoes that are more modern. These are thick boys. Damn! <laughs> thick with like six C's. Like, <laughs> We have a manual. Back in November, when these first launched, these shoes retailed for $400 USD. We managed to get our hands on this pair for 370, but they were secondhand and not from Nike directly. Yeah, I'm about 600 bucks Canadian. It's like stocks, but shoe stocks. This little guy is apparently like the mascot. Look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> Can sit with my dinosaurs. So this. <laughs> It's stuck. <laughs> and of course you might be wondering what this is. These shoes contain a micro electromechanical system which allow the laces themselves to tighten up, which I will show later on in the video. Like the movie. Like, yes, yeah, just like the movie. <laughs> I will say if we could have gotten our hands on the Back to the Future ones, that would have been super cool. But because of their nostalgia factor, they are very, very difficult to come by and are very expensive when they do come available. Inside, the shoes contain a Cortex M4 processor, eight megabytes of flash memory, a capacitive touch controller, an accelerometer and a gyroscope, and a DC gear motor. It seems as though the charging cable is supposed to come in this box, but since these are secondhand, I don't expect them to package everything accordingly. Goodbye. So since these shoes do contain a battery, they need to be charged. And Nike has figured out a wireless charging system that works awesome, I guess. Or we'll find out. <laughs> it's a super sleek design. I feel as though you could really just leave this by the door and it wouldn't look tacky or cheesy. And your shoes look really cool on top of it. It's kind of like a display, like a, a platform. So while I'm discussing the battery, I will mention that Nike claims that these shoes should last 12 to 14 days, depending on how many times you lace and unlace the shoes. It takes about 24 hours for them to fully recharge, which means you don't have to worry about taking these shoes on vacation and having them die on you right away. Nike has also implemented a system where when your battery is dying, there are these lights on the side that will change to let you know that your shoes do need to be recharged. What was that? They made a noise. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a sci-fi movie. Ooh, okay. So here's a feature that I noticed right off the bat. The lights on the side, they're glowing. So Nike says when the light or the LEDs inside are green, that means that they are fully charged and ready to go. I guess the next step is to connect them to my phone. So let's get into that. All you have to do is download the app and sign into your Nike account or make one if you don't already have one. Luckily, I buy shoes quite frequently, so I have a Nike account already. So before I connect and turn on these shoes, let me turn you on to our sponsor, Grammarly. Save time writing your countless work emails with Grammarly. Grammarly is an all-in-one writing tool that helps you with grammar and spelling suggestions. Simply install the free desktop app, log in, and start typing. There's also Grammarly Premium, which provides more in-depth feedback on your writing. We recommend checking out the tone detector tool. It helps ensure you say what you mean in the appropriate and correct tone so you can say goodbye to accidentally aggressive emails. Work smarter, not harder. Go to grammarly.com slash short circuit to sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium today to help you save time and work more efficiently. It says it's been connecting, but this may take up to a minute and it's or maybe I'll look at the manual and make sure I'm not doing anything wrong. But you would think they would instruct you exactly what you're supposed to do in the app. Who needs to see the shoes when they can see the warranty? Oh yeah, no, this is just the safety and regulatory. Maybe I'll just try again. My Bluetooth is on. Earl Wright would like to pair with your iPhone. Is that these shoes? What do I do here? <laughs> Should I just click pair? I mean, it could also just be a random person. Uh... Yellow. 
connection error. I do want to mention that I wouldn't necessarily consider myself a sneakerhead per se, but I do enjoy a nice, comfortable, good looking pair of shoes. And while I do own a pair of Hirachis, a pair of NMDs, these are like nothing I've ever seen before. Shoe detected, oh my gosh, yes! Press either light on the shoe to confirm. Bonk, bonk. <gasps> working. They are quite chunky, but chunky sneakers have been in style lately. Maybe I use banana for scale. It's about the thickness of the thickest part of your banana for scale, if you're wondering. You're all set, woo! -hoo! With the app, you set up your custom tightness. That way, when you do put your shoes on, they can adjust directly to the tightness that you've set them to. That's what we're doing right now. Your shoes will auto adjust to find your move fit. Time to put them on. <laughs> Here, get a good shot of my coach booties. <laughs> probably as expensive as these bad boys right here. Stupid train, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is such a weird feeling. They're tightening. So the app is showing me uh, I have a left shoe and a right shoe, and it says to slide, so I'm going to do that. My mind is blown. This feels crazy. Do I get to keep them after? <laughs> so even with the train and the lawnmower in the background, I can still hear the shoes, which means inside they're probably quite loud. Yeah, that's quite loud. But you know what? I feel like the technology just makes it worthless regardless of how loud they are. So now I've adjusted them to a tightness that feels comfortable and I'm now gonna save on my phone. This is move mode apparently. <laughs> and then you can have a comfort mode, which is a bit looser for, you know, just walking around the house if you wear shoes in your house or I don't know. Should I go for a walk? They actually feel really comfortable. <laughs> How do they look? Do they look good? <laughs> Comfort factor, I'd say, is very, very reasonable. But I mean, for $400 shoes, I would hope so. They do look thick from like this perspective, but that's part of the fun, right? While I was outside, I had some thoughts. Initially, I was a little put off by the idea of having self-lacing shoes. I wasn't necessarily sure who exactly these were for, but after using them and, you know, having a feel or getting a feel for myself, I've actually realized that these can be quite convenient, especially for people who may not be able to lace their shoes on their own. With that said, it is still difficult to take the shoes off when they are laced. And if you don't have access to your phone or the app at the time that you need to take them off, I could see that becoming an inconvenience. Convenience. Luckily, they do have buttons on the side of each shoe, which you can use to manually adjust the tightness. However, at this point, it requires almost as much effort as tying a regular pair of shoes. While the app itself is well designed from what I can tell, once I had my shoes laced and ready to go, I got a notification from the app asking to use my data. And while they don't use the data in the app itself, instead they use your data to help develop future products. While I'm uncertain I actually want to share my data with Nike, let's just hope one day Nike can add a pedometer or something to the app to make these shoes worth the money. Another thing I noticed is the weight of these shoes is quite substantial to shoes that I've bought in the past. While they do have a thick sole and a lot of tech on the inside, I would love to weigh them and see how they compare to a pair of Nike shoes that I already own. I've got two thick boys here. Already, by holding them, I can definitely tell these are probably almost twice the weight. I'll weigh these ones first. So these are the Nike Crater Impact shoes made from recycled materials. So these are 9.5 ounces. Now let's see how they compare to the Nike Auto Maxes. A whopping one pound and one ounce. I feel as though walking around in these all day is not gonna be an enjoyable experience. Another unfortunate thing that happened was while I was walking around with these shoes, the left shoe actually disconnected from the Bluetooth and wouldn't connect until I came back inside. I can't imagine how that would go if you're walking around downtown and need to loosen your shoes or take them off for like, I don't know, a yoga session or something. Now here's a feature that we haven't mentioned yet. These shoes have RGB LEDs, which means the buttons right here, you can change the color of them. 
Now, like I mentioned with my Apple Watch video, I love matching products to my outfits. Let's see what kind of options we have for these. Since I'm wearing white, I've changed it to a white glow. I'll change to orange, LTT orange. Cool. Oh, you can do dual color display. Oh, I have to update the firmware in my shoes in order to activate dual colors. You can also change the effect. Yes, fancy. Ultimately, these shoes are really just a big flex. While these shoes don't necessarily offer anything other than self-lacing and being able to change the colored lights, they could potentially be useful for somebody with a disability. Are they worth $400? Not necessarily, but if you love Nike, and really want a pair of these awesome self-lacing shoes, I'd recommend them. I'm probably gonna take these ones. No. <laughs> these are mine now. No. Bye. <laughs> if you wanna watch another one of my fashionable videos, go watch my Apple Watch 7 video and comment below what you would want to see these shoes do.